Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube, and today we are going to unbox my Jeffree Star mystery box that I got, and I thought what a better time than to bring my little Jeffree Star into the video. So I put one of my headbands on him, and he is just so excited about it. So this is my dog, Jeffree Star. For those of you who don't know or who are new here, um, I love Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I love Jeffree Star, and I decided to name my dog after him. So I also have a dog named Sephora. So two out of my three dogs are named after makeup. Um, my husband was like, uh, no dogs named Chanel or Dior. So I went outside the box and chose more original names related to makeup, but he just wanted to say hello, make a little appearance. He looks a little bit sad that he's wearing this headband, so I'm going to go let him play. Thank you. I love you. And uh, we'll open this mystery box. So um, I ordered the Jeffree Star mystery box. Now, when they came out, the day they came out, I was laying in bed, snuggling with my dogs, taking a little nap, living my best life. I have a dog here on me. And uh, I didn't realize that they had already launched. So I missed the big, you know, deluxe box. And I got this premium box instead, which I'm actually okay with because today I'm wearing my Can't Relate shirt from Jeffree Star. And the item that was in the deluxe box that was not in this box was a Can't Relate shirt in a different color, although I will say I absolutely love that one because the colors are like Valentine's themed and it has little hearts, which this one does not. No, this one does not. So um, I would have loved the shirt and I definitely would have gotten the deluxe box. Actually, truth, truth, truth be told, I probably would have bought one of each if I would have been uh, awake when they launched, but my bad. So this time I only got this one. I do hope he releases them in the future because I think this is going to be so much fun. I have seen a lot of spoilers because I've seen a lot of unboxings. Um, actually my friend Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner, she did get the big box. So if you want to see what she got, I will link her video or her channel or both up above and in the description box. So you can go see somebody unbox the, um, big box, but I do know there are different variations of the smaller box. I'm, I haven't seen any variations of the bigger box, but I have seen variations of the smaller box. So, um, I know that I'm probably going to get something in here that I do have already so I've pulled together the items that um, I've seen in other people's boxes that are there's a chance that I might get one of them just so that I can show them to you because if I get something that's a duplicate I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna keep like it depends what it is because certain items I will definitely keep the duplicate but other items I might keep for a future giveaway or give to a friend and I just don't want to swatch you know colors that I already have so um, so this is what the box looks like it's really cute I love the little question marks I love the uh, pink and the red for Valentine's Day. I really hope he does it for St. Patrick's Day. I think that would be fun. Um, I just hope he does them because it's a really good value from what I've seen. Um, these were, like I said, this one was $40. The other one was $75. So I'm going to open the box. And the first thing I see is pink tissue paper. So open it even further. And I'm sure you guys have already seen at least one or two unboxings, but this is what it looks like on the inside. So the first thing we see is a pop socket, which I think is amazing because I have a pop socket on my phone and I use my pop socket every single day. So now I have one that not only matches a brand that I use, but also my dog's name. So I think that's pretty cool. Not that it says Jeffree Star on it, but the logo. Um, so I will definitely use this, although I'm going to be getting a new phone soon. So I think I will wait until I do that. So I'm just going to pull out the first item, which is a skin frost. So his highlighters are huge. Um, you've probably already seen them. Okay. So we did get a shade that I already have, which is deep freeze, which is a beautiful blue shade. Now I know you're thinking on your, a blue highlighter. Yeah, I mean, I would use a blue highlighter, although this one is really, really pigmented. So I'm going to show it to you. So this is mine. So this is the one we got. And then this one here is mine. So that's what it looks like. Now, I use this as an eyeshadow. And 
I'll show you how pigmented it is. I mean, you can definitely sheer it out, but that was just one little swipe. That's definitely pigmented enough to be an eyeshadow. Let me just grab a little bit since, yeah, see? I mean, on a deeper skin tone, that would look cool. I don't have any highlight on right now, but um, yeah, luckily I'm not going anywhere else. I've actually, I did film this makeup look. It will be up. Yeah, it'll be up before this one. So I'll link it up here if you haven't seen it. I use the Hasina 2 palette. So I could have actually used that today on my lids because, um, but as far as highlight for me, it does not work. So I do use it as an eyeshadow. I have used it many times as an eyeshadow. You can barely tell, but you can see where I've dipped in. So, um, so I will either keep the other one for a future giveaway or give it to a friend. I haven't decided, but this one I will definitely pass along because I cannot see myself ever even using it as a highlighter. If I did, which I look bruised, um, I would never go through this in a lifetime. So I will definitely pass along the other one. So the next item is a lip ammunition and it is in the shade Starfish. So I do not own that. And now you're going to have to look at me with uh, blue on my face the rest of the video. That was not a smart idea. Um, so his lipsticks in the permanent line are in this packaging, which is Oh, and I have some highlighter on my hand too, which is just the pink plastic. It looks like a bullet. And then this is the shade. That's a really pretty shade. So once I pull out all of the other products, I will try on these for you. Um, so the next shade I got is also from the permanent line and it is, ooh, and watermelon soda. I don't own that shade either. So that's exciting. And... It actually looks a lot like the lipstick, similar, anyhow. So I will leave that out because I don't own either one of those. Okay, so this one is one from the Alien collection, from the newest collection, and it is in the shade Can't Relate. Pretty excited about that because I don't own that one either. And this was one of the shades that I actually saw people wearing and I was like, oh man, like I wish I would bought that one. But it is a very light shade, though. But you're not going to be able to see the shade exactly what it looks like until I show you or try it on. Okay, that one doesn't have scent. But all of his packaging for the Alien collection had this shimmery, like, glittery packaging, which is really pretty But um, in theory. But at the same time, I think it makes you think, like, ooh, that's going to be shimmery and glittery. And then... No, it's just matte. So I'm excited about those three things. And then last but not least, we have another one from the Alien Collection, except this one is in the shade Triggered, which I do already own the shade, and this is actually my favorite shade from the collection. So let me grab that, because I put it over here as well. So that is this one here. And again, it's um, this one is not glittery, uh, like it is in the tube and it's actually darker it, the glitter makes this one look a little bit lighter so i'm gonna go take this blue off my face really quick just because i look ridiculous and i want you to be able to concentrate on lip colors when i try them on and not the ridiculous highlight on my face so i'll be right back okay so we are back and our face is now clean um, and I have been wearing this makeup for like 10 hours. So, if, you know, like I feel like some of my blush has worn off and I totally forgot in this video to put on a highlighter. I don't know what's wrong with me because that's my favorite part of makeup other than eyeshadow, but I did it. So I'm going to use the bullet lipstick first. So that's in the shade again, starfish. So it looks like this, just like a corally pink shade. And... Yeah. The only lip ammunition that I own already is called Pops Popsicle Dream, which is like a purple lilac, which came in one of the other options. I'll be honest, I was hoping I was going to get the box that had mint condition in it because that's the green highlighter. 
and it also has had Scandal and Jeffrey Who, I think, in it. Oh, and the deluxe boxes also have a Supreme Skin Frost um, instead of or as well as like a regular Skin Frost. So that's a really pretty shade. I would definitely wear that. Um, I think this will be really pretty going uh, forward, like doing some of my uh, Valentine's Day videos. I think that would be really, really pretty. And I think it's not too crazy, not too out there. So I'm going to grab a makeup wipe and we can do the next shade, which will be, I'll test watermelon soda next. And we can see how similar the two are. His liquid lipstick formula is probably my... I almost dropped it to the floor, but I caught it with my leg. Okay. Um, his lip, liquid lipstick formula is probably my favorite. I'm just shaking it up because it's a little bit... See how, like, it's kind of weird. I've never had that happen before with a liquid lipstick shade, but hmm, interesting. There we go. Now that I kind of pumped it. Ooh, that smells like watermelon. Oh, I love it when his liquid lipsticks actually smell like something. Mmm, that smells so good. Watermelon is one of my favorite scents. So this is like starfish only a little bit brighter um this particular one is a little bit more patchy than some of his other ones but with his formula i like the fact that i can like build it up oh that's much brighter actually than starfish so let me just swatch them on my hand um yeah it, starfish is definitely like a more muted version of this one. Oh yeah for sure and starfish is a little bit more pink so this is starfish and that is watermelon soda so yeah i definitely i like this um i don't know it's almost a little bit orangey on me. I think that's my skin tone. Um, so I think I could even get away with like wearing it for, oh, that is going to stain. Um, I think I could get away with wearing it for like Halloween or something like that. And I do like it though. Okay, I'm going to have to go get my little uh, beauty blender so that I can because my lips are already very red and pigmented on their own. And with this staining, like we're not going to be able to see some of the other colors. So I'll be right back. Okay. So I just took my beauty blender and I kind of patted it with a little bit of like powder, um, just to, you know, give it a nice clean base. So the next shade we're going to go into is triggered and, um, I still have the, other one here so this one is definitely mine and this is like I said one of my favorite shades from this collection so it is just like a really beautiful chocolatey brown but like with a burgundy undertone normally I like using a Ooh, I got an eye teeth. Normally, I like using a uh, lip liner with this one. I should stop talking while trying to put this on. And with that one, so far, I have yet to dip back in. I just dip back in the first time. It's not the most perfect application, 
but you get the idea of the shade. So very beautiful, very vampy, very fall-like shade for me. So I'm going to wipe this off. Uh, Jeffrey left behind some hairs. So thank you, Jeffrey. And my lips naturally are like really pigmented, so usually when I do my videos, that looks real cute. Normally when I do my videos, I already have like some kind of, you know, lip balm or something that has perfect that has changed the color of my lips a little bit, but my my lips are pretty red naturally okay so now we're gonna go into the shade can't relate so i brought along a lip liner in case i was gonna need it but this lip liner wouldn't have gone with any other shade so i'm pretty sure that i would wear this with a lip liner but i'm gonna try it without one first just so we can see the true color yeah it's light I actually don't think I own any of his nudes except for Christmas Cookie. I don't usually use like nude um, liquid lipsticks, especially. No, this one doesn't smell. Um, and neither does Triggered. Especially nudes that are this light, like I just don't tend to gravitate towards them. Um. because now it just looks to me like I put a little bit of a darker concealer underneath it. So let me let this dry for a second. And then um, this is the Urban Decay 24-7 Lip Pencil in Wicked. So for me, I would probably align my lips and hard to line your lips when you've already put on the lip color. Or when you keep talking. Um, I don't think this is the best shade on me, but I think it would look good if I had put a lip liner on first and then maybe put like a gloss over top of it. I think that that would be cute, but I don't know haven't made up my mind on this one yet but overall I'm excited about the box I'm excited about the experience of opening the box um, out of the five products that I received um, I didn't own three of them which is really nice given how many Jeffree Star cosmetics items I own plus I got a pop socket so I definitely will do these in the future and if you're wondering about my no buy versus here we are with a bunch of new stuff I did say that Jeffree Star cosmetics was one of the brands that no matter what, um, even on my no buy that I would be able to buy from. So, um, and also side note, this one, the formula feels a little bit more dry and not as comfortable on my lips. So I don't know if that's important to you, but to me, I like comfortable lips. So whereas like this one felt like I had nothing on my lips, this one felt like I had nothing on my lips, but this one, I feel like I can feel it a little bit even before I put on the lip liner. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.